Hi folks, I'm Sean McCormick and welcome to the Lightning Vlog channel. Now obviously I've said before that while we're concentrating mainly on Lightroom that I will be doing stuff that's photographic related. So today I'm going to do a lighting setup from a recent shoot that I had with model Emma. So this is the shot we're going to talk about here. So there's a couple of interesting things that I've done in the shot. Um, straight off the bat the first thing you're going to notice is how wet she looks and how wet the hair looks. So I've used two things for that is I've used a spritzer bottle uh, and that spritzer bottle has just got water in it and that's for the hair. So that's all along here. It's sprayed in and then, then kind of just used in to try and give the hair a wet look rather than, you know, getting the hair fully wet and then drying it off. It just means that we can control the amount of wetness in the hair. Second thing is on the skin. I've wet the skin, but I've wet the skin with a mix of glycerin and water that I keep in another spritzer bottle, labelled, of course, so that I don't get the two confused. Um, it's about half and half, but I think I could probably put more glycerin in it just to make it a little bit sticky and more sweat looking. Um, so that gives the kind of wet look on the skin, which I wanted to, to get that look. So if we look around at the actual image itself, we'll notice a couple of things. First, we've got a lot of shine here. That's white, but we've also got shadow areas are quite blue. So generally with gels, you want to use the gels to fill in the shadow area. So in this case, by looking in the eyes, we can see some of what's going on. So underneath here, we can see that we have a reflector. And here we can see that we have a single point of light. So that's two of the lighting things revealed in this. So I obviously have a reflector coming from underneath and I obviously have a point source of light, which in this case is my blue gel, which is on a seven inch reflector. The white light we see is quite evenly distributed and because we can't see a reflection in the eye, that gives us a hint that it's out of the eye line. So in actual fact, it's a tabletop setup with a 135 octa Aurora Lux. So this is a two light setup and I'm using the ELC Pro or the ELC 500 Pro HDs for this from Ellen Chrome as well. And I'm using the new Skyport trigger for them. Hopefully it'll have a Fuji one out for the HSS soon. So that's really all there is to it for me talking about it. So let me actually go and show you what the setup looks like, minus a model, of course. So folks, this is the setup. Um, so this is the reflector that you're seeing in the eyes here. This is the octave, which is in the tabletop configuration. So it's literally parallel to the ground and the reflector itself is parallel too. Now I am at the edge, so I'm on the feathered edge. Sometimes I move it backwards and forwards depending on what I need. And this light here then is a blue gel reflector. Okay, so I'm just gonna bring the camera in and just let you see it around what's happening in a bit tighter. Uh, but that's basically the setup. Uh, this tabletop configuration is used by a lot of people um, for their lighting. The idea with the feathered edge is that you get a nice long light that then wraps down and gives you a very, very soft effect on the face. And then underneath here fills in really beautifully. This is just something that I have in with the blue light just for a slightly different effect. So this is from my position, you're gonna hear some of the blue light just to see what it looks like. See how much of a mess the studio is back there, the sofa that everything is thrown on. I have a couple of these chairs, and um, depending on what background I am there from, or they're from Ikea. So there's black, white, and then there's the kind of wood tone. So as we can see here, we got the blue reflector. Now I've got a pair of barn doors on there. This just it was handy just to tape the gel over them and stretch it tight so that no white light is escaping. So folks, I hope that was useful to you. Let me know if you liked it and if you want me to do more of these kind of things. I do plan on doing them anyway, uh, but I will keep them in a separate playlist so that they're kind of away from all the main stuff. If you look at uploads, you'll obviously see it, but I'll try and keep all the items stuff together in separate playlists as well too. So just to make it easier to navigate. Thanks for watching. If you haven't already subscribed, please, please subscribe. If you like it, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to get notifications, hit the bell as well, please.